This is my style. Yeah, yeah. that's your whole style. You no, know, mix it good. I won't lie, man. I'm getting full off this. It's filling. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Accra, Ghana in West Africa. This is my first day and I'm excited because I'm going to explore Jamestown and Ushertown, the old Accra, dating back to the 17th century. So we're going to explore this area, we're going to try some local food, see local life, right? So breakfast, see some murals, and just buy some stuff. I'm ready. Apollo, good? My man, what's your name again? You can call me Tegu. Oh, Bolu. All right, guys, mask on. Let's explore Accra. We have bangfu and fish, fresh fish from seaside. You no. Know? Okay, so they eat bangfu, which is basically uh, corn flour mixed with cassava dough, and you mix that with some spices, some fish. This is this is chicken, right? Yeah. And this is like a fishing community. Yeah. You always have fish. Yeah. And here in Accra, you'll find roadside vendors everywhere. Everywhere. Roadside vendors are everywhere in Ghana. I mean, every single place, every street you walk on, you'll see roadside vendors. And right outside of my hotel is actually a chop shop too. Oh, this, so this is like the clothing, right? You know, in Ghana, we can buy some chocolate, cocoa. So these are local cho chocolates. You guys don't know, Ghana is known for their cacao. So right here we have a lot of chocolate. We are very proud of our cocoa. Yeah. And these are chocolate. Things by? Things by. Mmm. Nice. This one must be like way more milky though. I guess I'll start the morning off with some chocolate. It's awesome. They have beer right there for sale. Just yeah. like that. Keep it cool, right? In yeah. the bag. And then here just lots of little shops, right? Yeah. Fabric shops. You know, convenience stores. Yeah. That's basically what we have here. Just never ending row of shops. To make a uh, plantain. Okay. You want to roast plantain, so it makes you from fire. Roasted plantains? Roasted plantain with peanuts. Okay. It's a snack, a good snack. Nice. For Ghanaians. Uh, yes. It's a good snack for good anyone. What about it? on the here we have way more vendors lots of very small street food stalls right so this one has like chicken wings fried chicken wings this is a crowded street huh lots of people walking up and down the street there's cars there's shops what they do they carry so many things in the head so many things it's kinky it's made from um, fermented dough from maize the process is they divide the dough into two and then um, they cook one portion first and then after that they have to bring it down to, for it to cool down and then they mix with the, the uncooked one. Then after that they use a corn axe to mold it. So here this is a Kenke factory or Kenke boutique. So when you go inside you can see the process how they are making it. So now, this is the, before they do the kinky. So Yeah, so I've, I've seen something like this in India. So basically this is a corn dough, right? And they heat it up, they mix it, they keep mixing yeah. it. And then eventually it makes like a paste. And over there, they're do, they're breaking it down. They are starting to do the kinky before they go to cook the kinky. So when you come here, you get fresh kinky from fire for you eat in the, in the early in the morning. Okay, so kenke is a little complex, right? So this is corn dough. They cook it, right, in this big vat. Then you have it here, this is the dough. They cover the dough, they, they cover it with corn leaves, and then they cook it again in the front, so it's cooked twice, right? And then you eat this with what? Pepper. With pepper? Sauce, soup, gravy. Okay. With fish. So with fish. So you can mix it. Almost yeah. like the banku. Yes. Almost the same thing, Almost right? So you thing. always eat this paired with a protein. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because this is really filling, right? This is the point. Yeah. To get full in the morning uh -huh. and continue. And they do roughly 500 in an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, quick. Yeah. They don't stop. Wow. <laughs> All right, man, I'm hungry. I want some you get some, some god breakfast. <laughs> 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 
They start eating. Alright, so you open this. Yeah. You get the nice dough that's been cooked twice. And my friend here is the same to start off with this, right? Mm. Oh wow. So you got some of this, some of the spice? Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You can taste the fermentation. It's a little different, right? So we just go in. Mix. Yeah. What are the differences? I mean, I tried this one. It's hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. These ones, yeah. Shuto. Shuto. Yeah. Shuto. Pepe and shuto. Yeah. You see, people say. Mmm. And this is like a super yeah. spicy yeah. pepper. And here, look at this. We have these little fish, small fried fish. You got bones, but you're supposed to eat it just like this, like this, right? Kokole. Kokole. Yeah. Mm. That's the name. Kokole. Gotta be careful, bones, but it's a little salty. Dried fish, right? Yeah. Come from home. Mm. So this fish name called Kam. Different type of species. Mm -hmm. but me, but my so, my, so my, you mix so, it? No, maybe. So I'm gonna get no, so right here. Go. Both mm. sauces, like the gravy, the the chili sauce, fish, kinky. Yeah. This kinky plaza. You guys enjoy it? Yeah. Mm. This one, the fish is very small, so you can easily just put it together, right? Take a big bite. Mm. Mm. The bones are fine. Not so bad. Great crunchy. Salty. Mm. I love the kinky. It's actually very tasty. A bit sour, but it's nice. Mixing the sauces, doing a little bit of fish. Even though the fish is a whole fish, it's good. It's enjoyable, it's crunchy. I don't think you have to worry too much about the spine because it's so small. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's crunchy. Mm. I like this. Yeah. They're telling me that obviously people want to fill up so they eat a lot of this, right? Mm hmm. Two already? Mm. Oh, it's so good. I like fish like this. Fry, eat it whole. Just break it down. Very chew into it. Like that, huh? Nice and spicy. So it's like that, right? Mm hmm. Oh, boy, like a bubaya. Mm. Fante, like a bubaya. <laughs> What's cool about where we are right now is that everybody's cooking around us. You can see over here, they're like cooking fish, cutting fish, cooking chicken over there. Wow. Full of senses, right? So you're eating, you're smelling, you're hearing the sounds. Mmm. So good. Yeah. For me, it's all about the spice. Mm hmm. Mm. It's also very enjoyable just to eat this alone. It's just like that. Just mix it, eat it. Bring a lot of this here in uh, in Ghana, huh? Oh, it's like Kenge, but Banku. You guys are going to ham on this, huh? This guy ate everything. How many did you eat? Three already? Yeah. Three. It's, it's sweet, that's why I eat three. <laughs> it's tasty, that's why I eat three right now. Yeah, it's tasty. Yeah. This is my style. Yeah, yeah, that's your whole style. No, mix it good. I won't lie, man. I'm getting full off this. It's filling. Good. That was so good. Delicious filling. This is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to the Paradome. The Paradome? Yeah. It's a British people. We can see the they do church and everything there. People make so many different foods, right? A lot of fried, a lot of fried chicken, a lot of fried fish, small fish, like the one we ate, right? And this is the neighborhood. I like it, dude. This is like real old school, old town Accra, 17th century. Every kid is so friendly. They all like dot me really quick. Let's do this, my man. I need, I need some, 
Oh look, you can get a haircut right here. You can get a haircut. Yeah. So we're walking through the back streets here. Super thin, narrow alleys. All houses, right? House, house, house. Beautiful. What is this? Guess they're cleaning up here. What, what happened here? He's <laughs> making the book, huh? Yeah, book, uh, do three alum alum yeah, yeah. So. Okay, so they're, make, they're making the hard copy. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, the hard cover. Yeah. That's what they're doing here. Yeah. So basically, they're using like recycled paper, right? Yeah. And then printing they, with printing on it. With printing on yeah. it. Okay, awesome. So I like the book. So we call it fancy. Fancy. Yeah. yeah. So we use it to cover the notebooks. Okay. After that, we apply label on which the students will write their name, class, Perfect. subject, and date comments and other things. Amazing. Yeah. Great job, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Love it. Uh -uh. Okay, so this area is a book factory area, right? So they already have the paper. They don't make the paper here. So they put get the paper. They make notebooks. They make hard covers. Then they sell it to stores. Stores come in here. They buy, you know, big columns of this, right? So like 20 books, 30 books, take it to their store. And then from there, it's sold to the public, right? So they come here, buy wholesale, and then sell to the public. And literally, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just the whole area. It's like so many different guys just making books. And so this is all just houses, the whole area, right? So some of those have been converted into like mini factories, like book factories, but the rest of it's houses. And as you walk through this lane, there's more books being made, right? And here's the paper. We're literally walking through the back roads of old Accra. So we've gone through this narrow alleys, then you get to main, you know, boulevards, and then it's again more alleys. And so we're making our way through here to get to where? to where the artists have done the painting on the walls. Okay, so this is a mural done by smart underscore SPF and it's called Bears Fruits. So what do we see here? So it says Uni something. Unity? Can't tell, somebody drew over it, right? That's somebody drawing on top of it. Nice, so it's more like this, right? Over there as well. So there's another mural. So here we have two birds. Also, it looks like different worlds, right? Trust God's love, that's what it says. I couldn't see the artist there, but it's nice. So it's gonna be like that, just like, just more and more murals, nice. And what are you drinking? Pure water. Pure water. Or sachet water. It's cool. Famous musician in Accra here, Nico Akosua Japon. What's his name? Akosua? Japon. Hey, Japon. Beautiful, I like it. So they did like some bubble letters here. And then over here, is that the, that's the lady? Or who is that? That's the, that's the lady. That's the lady, nice. On a horse, right? Yeah. And what is this to the right? Just like different... Uh, yeah, it's a, a symbol. There's a symbol in Ghana. I think that's symbols. I think that's symbols. As we keep walking in these back streets, you see more and more murals. Over here, we have a lady from Upper West. Over here is like a, you know, a painting of, a tradi but it's like a traditional Ga Ghana. Okay, so yeah, so there's many different uh, ethnicities here in Ghana. And over here, this is just another example, right? So it's, it's every single one of these is like a different artist. They're going with the same style though, like, you know, an iconic figure here in Ghana on a horse. That's usually what it is for what I've seen all the, all these different ones. Over here, over here as well on the horse. And this is called, uh, I don't even know what that is. Okpok Job. And then this this looks like Simpsons or something. Oh, it is a Simpsons. It's like a mix of everything. I literally can get lost in here. Yes, like yeah. it's so many back streets. Yeah. This doesn't stop. And there's no names, right? Yeah. This is just like you have to know where your house is here. I mean, easier to identify your property with the murals, right? Understand where the murals are. Understand where everything is. I mean, obviously, if you're from here, it's different. For me, I'd be super lost. I mean, luckily the neighborhoods aren't that big between the main boulevards. So you can easily just keep walking, you know, this way or this way, right? So up and down. We pass it, but we can take this one before we go. Oh wow, what's this one? Beautiful. So these are like four kids on a window. Nice. Butterflies. I love it. This is really nice. And where's the artist? Here? I guess it's the artist right down there. And it was done April 9th, right? 
<laughs> They're making basically like fruit candy, right? Yeah. Fruit candy. So the fruit's here, then they boil it, they mix it with mad sugar, I'm sure. They put it into these plastic bags, and you open a hole, right? Like this? Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, wow. So basically, the flesh of the fruit, lots of sugar here. Very sweet, a little sour as well. It's almost like a paste. So right here we have a seed. Woo! Seed fell. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Very sweet. Like a little too much for me. I need some water. I don't need candy. Mmm. It's basically their version of candy, right? Nice. Good. So guys, yeah. there are literally vendors selling everything. These guys just passed by with a row of glasses. These other guys over here are selling onions. This guy is walking in front of us with basically a kitchen. <laughs> On this street, you could see a few different posters of people who have passed away. Over here, you have one lady who's 81 years old, long life, and they put like a white you know, cloth, something that shows white because that is like, she had a long life, you know? So over there, back behind us, there's a gentleman who died at 40 years old and they put a red scarf on his door and that's like, you know, pain, danger, you know, painful death. 40 years old, very young, he didn't really live his life and it's very unfortunate, but that's sort of how it works here. They'll put the person outside so everybody in the community knows that person recently passed away. So we're gonna walk through this neighborhood to get to the lighthouse, right? Lighthouse is all the way back there? Yeah. Walking through these tight back streets. You know, this this really reminds me of other times in Africa, South Africa, I've been to a few places like this. You know, very small communities, very tight and narrow, you know, clothing everywhere, food, water jugs. And as we pass through, we're back on another street. It's like, this is how it is. Just street after street, neighborhood after neighborhood. And where's the lighthouse? Oh, right there it is. Well, uh, behind me, that's the site of the first ever hotel built in Accra, called Accra, uh -huh. called Sea View Hotel. Wow. And now it is gone. It's in ruins. It's in ruins. Right in front of the Sea View Hotel, we have the lighthouse. And behind it, we have the Atlantic Ocean. And this is the Jamestown Lighthouse, built in the year 1930 to replace the older lighthouse that was built in the 1870s and it's 92 feet high, probably 28 meters to be precise. And over here, we have the Jamestown Fort. In Old Accra, we have Fort James and Prussia Fort. Awesome. Both uh, were built in uh, Old Accra. So this is like 17th century, colonial period, right? Yeah. yeah. And this was, this country was known to be the land of gold, right? Land of gold. That's why all these European, you know, colonists came. And from here, we have views over the fishing village, right? So all the fishermen boats. What's up guys? How you doing? So every single day they go out, they get fish, they come back, they bring back and they distribute throughout. All the fish we see in the town, the one we reach the Kinki, they buy from here. Besides tilapia, all the fish that you can see in Jamestown come from right here. And the reason they come from this specific spot is because this is like the fishing port, which was the old harbor, the main harbor, the first one in Ghana, right? So that's what that, uh, that mini dock is. It was like a bigger dock, obviously a lot longer, but now it's like half and they're actually doing a project here. That's why we can't enter. They have some barbed wire, so unfortunately we can't enter, but this is it, right? Brazilian. Basiling. Yeah. Okay, the reason why this street is famous is because the people, the Estabon people, live here. Now, what is Estabon? Well, if you guys know Portuguese, Estabon, like, are you okay? Are you good? Basically, there were slaves in the 1840s who got fed up in Bahia and said, I want to go back to my homeland. And the Portuguese allowed them to go. They gave them three ships. They sent them back. One came here, one came to Benin, another one Nigeria. But when they started greeting people, they were like, Estabon? And they were like the Estabon people, and that's sort of how this happened. The Estabon people, when they came back to Ghana and particularly to old Accra, they brought a lot of development, especially when it comes to vocational skills like tailoring, shrimp fresh, um, carpentry, and so on. Yeah. <laughs> 
And here this gentleman is cutting the chicken of the sea, tuna, my favorite. I love this man. This raw, a mm, little bit of soy sauce, some ginger. So he's cutting the tuna into small pieces, then they move it over here. She cleans the tuna, she marinates it in this like oilish red sauce, and then they smoke it. They put it here in the smoker. How long do they let it smoke for, do you know? Smoking the fish depends first on the size of the, of the fish. Uh, and also the, the number of uh, firewood they put inside. So for example, this one can take about three hours because they have cut it into smaller pieces. So it can take three hours. And then when it's done, sometimes they let it um, be cool before they remove it. So that also can take another two hours. That's cool seeing how they smoke the fish, right? So they, you know, put the tuna in pieces, you know, clean it, spice it, throw it in there for three plus hours. I mean, I'm sure it's delicious smoked tuna. Woo, and it is now really, really hot. It's like 1 p.m. now, sun is burning. Woo, this is their winter. Ghana winter is basically my summer. So guys, how you doing? Dry season is the best time to visit Africa, especially if you want to go on safaris. And the dry season is super dry, no wet. And is it, we're back at the main spot we started from. The best soccer players and boxers from Ghana come from Jamestown and they practice literally right here. This is where they grew up. There are a few places like this. Awesome. Sometimes even the street, they block the street and they play there. All right, my friends, so we explored Jamestown, the old town in Accra. We had an incredible breakfast at Tang. Tenke. Tenke. At Tenke Plaza, which is a corn dough, which has been basically it fermented, it cooked, they wrapped it up cooks again you eat it with a gravy with a nice red pepper sauce pepe and and the shito with some fried fish I mean really amazing experience going in there seeing how they make it sitting down with the locals eating I mean the sounds it's literally a sensory overload between taste smell and sounds and we walked around we tried a few different things we walked through all the different alleys we saw murals paintings came all the way over here to the lighthouse and from here we saw the fishermen boats here at the old harbor and this is where Ghana started right 17th right. century this is Accra this is where Accra started Accra started yeah yeah obviously not not Ghana this is where Accra started which is the capital of Ghana and guys if you love this video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Accra let's go